Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, to episode 16, I think, of Leveling and World of Warcraft Undead Rogue Edition in patch 7.1.5. Uh, so last episode, we just picked up a few quests that involve us going and clearing out the sludge fields here, since it apparently has been completely overrun by all kinds of badness. So let's go ahead and get into that. There's also a quest over to the east, looks like, that we can go and pick up. So let's go and do that first before we worry about killing all these guys, just in case there's some overlap with it. And we don't have to sort of fall back. Oh, there's a screaming coming from over there or something. Doesn't sound very fun. Another abomination head with a twitchy eye. More yelling. What the heck is going on? Oh. Oh, this is what's going on. <laughs> My goodness. I assume we're going to have to pull those guys out of the dirt for this quest. You've come upon a horrific scene. Someone or something has buried all of the humans up to their necks in a manner consistent with planting. The ghouls, which are seemingly tending to the field of human seedlings, periodically jump to the nearest human and devour its head. You can end this right here and now. Take this shovel and save the humans. Do the right thing. Ah, uh, fine, if I have to. Use a shovel to smash in the human seedlings' heads, or I click the humans to set them free from the dirt. Ooh. So we can either bonk them over the head, or we can save them. Well, hmm. That, that yelling is pretty obnoxious. So let's let's save them. There you go, buddy. Be free. It. They planted us in the dirt like crops. <laughs> yes, they did. We have to rescue 15 of them, it looks like. Or we can bonk a couple of them, I guess. Just to see. Oh. Oh, we have to click them? Yeah, we do. Ew. Wow. Look at that fountain. Jesus. Jesus game. Okay, we're definitely going to save them. That's obnoxious. <laughs> and that yelling is even more obnoxious. I, mean, I, I don't blame them, all things considered. But that's still pretty creepy. This is... I swear, like, the more I get into these questing zones, like, the darker and creepier these quests get. This is crazy. <laughs> the, the quest design team is probably like, yeah, no one ever pays attention to these quest techs, so we can make it as dark and morbid as we want, and no one will even care. Well, you know what, Blizzard? I've seen what, you do, what you're doing. <laughs> Can't hide this from me. Citizen Vokes. Oh, he's somebody we have to kill for a quest. I was using the Geist model, which is one of my favorite like NPCs in the game. They just look so cool to me. All right, we have to get four more humans and the three more flesh samples from these guys, as well as killing Clark Horus. Oh, there's Horus, or worse, Horus. Oh, that actually gave us a quest discovery. The journal documents the last 62 days of Clark Horace's White Steed's life. In it is written damning allegations against the Warden Stillwater and his activities at the Sludge Fields. You should show this to the Warden. He will undoubtedly have an explanation for what is written in this journal. Yes, yeah, surely. Surely there's nothing fishy going on here. One more to go, yep. As well as one more flesh sample. They seem to have 100% drop rate, so... We'll turn that quest in after we kill this guy. And get his, uh, flesh sample. Alright, thank you. Let's get out of the way so he won't get jumped by anything when we read the quest. Eh, whatever, let's just do it here. Undoubtedly, you did the right thing. Hopefully the humans that you saved will show similar mercy to you, should the time of your planting ever come. <laughs> So I guess it just looks as to whether we, uh... Well, it says we'll show this similar mercy. It doesn't show same... It doesn't say show mercy, just similar mercy. So maybe it says that regardless if we bonked in most of their heads or not. 
This is all assuming you rescued the humans and, oh, and didn't splatter their brains all over the dirt, of course. Keep the shovel as a reminder of the horrors of the sledge fields and the depravity of mortal mortals. Alright, so you get a shovel, but it's a mace, so it's not really useful to us. Alright, let's, uh, let's go turn in these quests and see if the warden has an explanation for all of these shenanigans, putting it lightly. <laughs> Uh, this, seems, this seems like, you know, like, a perfectly reasonable thing to have happen to you when you're running a sludge farm. Alright, Stillwater. We've done as you asked. His glorious fields weren't always here, Rogue. Only through determination and the strength of will did we turn the decrepit human farms into Lordaeron's largest and most productive sludge and mushroom plantation. And all of that could be lost due to a simple accident. Well done! Wilkes was hanged after we discovered that he was ingesting mass quantities of mushrooms and other highly toxic substances. After he died, he awoke, reborn as an undead geist. Many of my guards fell to Wilkes before he ran off into hiding. Fearing something like this might happen again, we incinerated the clerk until only bones were left. Why would they willingly ingest toxic substances? I have no idea! This is a farm, sir. Nothing more. <laughs> right, give me that ring. What's this? Battle for Hillsbrad. He flips through the journal, reading under his breath. Ramblings of a madman. Clearly he had been ingesting the mushrooms. It is good that you brought this to me. I will burn it myself. <laughs> oh, I love this game sometimes. Alright. And... Oh, here's the other quest. Flesh Shaper Arnold. That better be good. Or science! These samples will give us a better understanding of the mindless undead. Take these coins as a reward. Okay. Uh, and it looks like the warden has another quest for us. It was only yesterday that I sent her out to investigate the farm directly east of here, but it feels like an eternity has passed. I knew it was true love the minute I saw her. Her lovely blonde locks and the way they framed her perfect blood elf face. She melted my shriveled heart. I didn't want to send her out, but she was so demanding. I had to give her what she asked for. Who could refuse such a vision? Alas, poor Jenny Awesome has returned. Ah, uh, so there's Johnny Awesome and Jenny Awesome. I fear the worst, Rizotis. Find her. Oh, has not returned. Whoops. Okay. I'll find Johnny, Jenny Awesome at the Sludge Fields and he'll... Okay. I see how it is. So I'm just going to be a dude in a wig. <laughs> this ought to be good. How decent is this ring? Actually pretty good. Three stamina, three agility. Not too shabby at all. So I think I'll just be in this uh, house over here. Or she'll be in this house. <laughs> Johnny Awesome. Ah oh, yes, the stereotype of all male blood elves still being female. Is enforced. <laughs> you there, yes, you rogue. I have been captured against my will and imprisoned illegally by Warden Stillwater. Get me out of this cage and I will explain everything. I thought that was Johnny saying it, not the uh, apothecary. Victory Uber Town. Johnny is sobbing loudly. T Twinkles! Th it killed her! Johnny continues to cry. Little snot bubbles form in his nostrils. Hold your head high. Do you want a dolly, little girl? Would that make it better? I thought there was going to be some interaction there. I'm listening. This place is no farm. Stillwater has been experimenting on the humans of Hillsbrad. The monstrosities here are all his creations. That's not the worst of it, Rogue. The aberrations that have my key to my cage are former Forsaken. Stillwater's experiments have the side effect of turning Forsaken into mindless zombies. Why do you think he's so afraid of letting this get out? He knows that such a crime was punishable by true death. Get me out of here. The infected sludge guards outside have the key. All right. Let's see. What do we need to kill? Oh, these are actually entirely different NPCs. Okay. We just need to kill these guys until we find a key. I'm okay with that. There we go. I wasn't too shabby. What the heck? 
the Ray gets Kalaba monstrosity. It's a bit of a name. <laughs> I, suspe I suspect we'll be fighting it soon enough. Come on, get up there. I would have returned with the key. Hello. Get the key! I have the key. Liden takes the key from us. I'll let myself out. Thanks. I have never been so angry. Stillwater won't get away with this. I will present his head to the Banshee Queen myself. You and I will work together. I don't know about the little girl here, but I preferred she stayed behind. I agree. On oh, yeah, level 25. Ooh, a couple quests. You're not leaving me in this place. Take me with you. Glory to the Sindora. Warden Stillwater sent me to investigate the outbreak. When I arrived, Twinkles and I were charged by the lumbering monstrosity known as v Varington. I was knocked off tw of Twinkles and immediately ran for my life. Twinkles, though, stayed behind and fought the beast off. Alas, she was defeated, and then some uh, summarily planted in the soil as if she were some type of glorious star pony seedling. She gave her life to defend me. Vengeance must be mine. There's nothing else, or if for nothing else, do it for Twinkles. We get some awesome boots. Aw, yeah. We will have justice. What is it? Before the warden receives his comeuppance, we must deal with the outbreak. We cannot risk this contagion being released into the world. With the laborers' quarters directly north of here, is a monstrosity Stillwater's beast together out of three farmers. This beast must be destroyed if we are to secure the sludge fields. Protocol demands it. Victory for Savannah. Alright, also oh, that's the Ray gets Calibre monstrosity. And for being made out of three farmers, that thing is really big. Like, those three farmers had to have been huge to begin with. Like, look at this thing. Or like the size of its foot. <laughs> like, three farmers could have made up its foot, you know? Come on. Alright, let's kill. Ugh, gross. Don't barf on me. So there's that, and then we have to kill this blacksmith. I see this is more believable being made out of like three farmers. But you know, eh, whatever. <laughs> Very easy. Okay, let's turn these quests in. Get those boots, please. She may now ascend to the great horsey heaven in the stars. We will never forget you, Twinkles. Never. Let's throw those boots on. Alright, now all of our armor is matching. We have, except for our cape, I guess. I am forsaken. Once we deal with the rest of the undead, we will confront Stillwater. Magistrate Burnside was once the mayor of this region. In life, he was a formidable adversary in the Battle of Over Hillsbrad, and in death, he will surely test us. Burnside channels great arcane magic in the northwest section of the Sludge Fields. Lead us there, and together we will put an end to his rule, once and for all. Alright, can do, boss. Ah, it's this, the, the floating pink guy. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Burnside. Uh, do you have a moment to, uh... Oh? No? Okay. See, now, the product of your meddling. Burn in my hatred. I'd rather not burn, sir. If it's all the same to you. Alright, simple enough. Speak quickly. Now to bring Warden Stillwater to justice. Oh, come on, let me let me talk to you. That's where, why did he despawn? That's weird. Oh, well, they both did, but then came back. With the undead outbreak contained, the time has come for Stillwater and his followers to answer for their crimes. That we averted a tragedy, the likes of which has not been seen since the Scourge invaded, we must ensure that a thing must ensure that such a thing can never happen again. They will all face true death. Come, I will have Stillwater's head. And we can get a new dagger out of it. It's pretty nice. Good one, too. Alright. See, he's still over here, right? Just hanging out in the building? Yeah. We have to get his head, apparently. Although he has all of his guards here, so I suspect he's not going to be too willing to go. Lydon, alive? 
I know. I now know, or now I know where your allegiances lie, Rezotis. Yeah. And you, Jenny? I thought we had a connection. You've broken my heart for the last time. Warden Stillwater, you are deranged and a threat to our way of life. By the authority of the Dark Lady herself, I hereby impose upon you the harshest penalty allowed under the Forsaken Law. True death. This goes for all of you traitorous scum who supported this fool. Kneel. I am a threat. I am deranged. What I've created here is an evolution. This is how the Forsaken will thrive, not through some magical winged fairy sprinkling happy dust on corpses. Kill them. They will serve as subjects for our next study. Oh boy, that's a lot of enemies. Let's get out of that circle of fun. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh jeez. Knocked us way out of there. <laughs> so he's throwing bombs and stuff at us. <laughs> yes, we got the killing blow. We helped, guys. Head of war. Like, how do we even get his head at that point? That's a really large head. Gross. I'm listening. No, do not waste my time. Excuse me? Did you see what just happened? I will deliver this head to the Banshee Queen personally. Of course, I will make mention of your part in all of this. As for your reward, take from Stillwater's cash whatever you desire. You've earned it. You definitely want the dagger. Before I, my capture and imprisonment, I was stationed at South Shore. My, prim my primary job at the ruins was to take slime samples and make sure that the blight that we released was safely dissipating. Simple and easy, if not for the worgen that would const continuously harass us. I need you to head to South Shore and find my apprentice, Serge Hinnot. Make sure he's okay and inform him that I will return once my work here is concluded. You'll find the ruins of South Shore to the southeast, near the coast. Get a little bit of experience. I also got a new dagger appearance that apparently I didn't have before. But that actually looks pretty cool with a little gem in it. I might use it for transmogs later. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Put in the offhand. There we go. Okay, where do we need to go now? Ruins of South Shore? Alright, that's not too bad. Hello, Serge Hinnot. And you are. Oh, look at that little gas mask. Yeah, gas mask he has. I want it. <laughs> Another interruption. How am I supposed to get any work done like this? Uh, don't answer that. Do I look as if I care what you have to say? If we are ever to get this place cleaned up and expand our empire, I will need absolute silence. Yeah, well, your teacher sent me. Morgan's situation hasn't gotten any better, and Helkular is really creeping me out. I'm sure he is. We used a fairly potent strain of blight against the humans of South Shore. As you can see, it worked. The trouble with blight use, though, is that blight tends to stick around after it served its purpose. What I need from you is to take this testing kit uh, and get out into the field to get a lethality count from the blight slimes that we've released into the area. Use the lethality lethality analyzer on the blight slime sweeping the uh, on the blight slime sweeping the slime pools. Come back to me when you have some solid data. Watch your sure, it doesn't sound dangerous at all. Recycling. It's all the craze these days. The Banshee Queen has decreed that we must cons that we must conserve if we are to prosper as a people. Everyone must do their part, right? With that said, you will be part of doing our you will be doing our part for us. Ah, oh, okay. There are likely thousands of blight canister bits and pieces all over South Shore. We can reuse those canisters for more blight bombing goodness. Just head into the ruins here and pick up whatever you can find. 
Victory can do. Hey, Elkular. I remember you. <laughs> During the uh, Legion Invasion 7.0 pre-patch event. In time, we will rebuild this place and restore it to its former glory. Minus all of the annoying humans. To think, I, a master of necromancy, trained by Kelthuzad himself, was reduced to nothing more than a corpse in a grave. Thankfully, my astute apprentice, Thyvand, managed to find a group of heroes to recover this. Helcular whips out his rod. Ugh. Blizzard, please. It's through the power of the rod that I was reborn. The rod giveth, and the rod taketh away. <laughs> Take it now and use it to empower dark rangers battling the worgen in the field north of us. Renew their vigor with my rod. There's no way that wasn't intentional. And Helcular's command. Our dark rangers search the fields for worgen terrorists. These worgens have been sent out by their dark masters to hunt and kill us. And through a dark ranger... And, and though a dark ranger is a formidable combatant, the worgen often attack in packs, which can overwhelm even a dark ranger. Search the fields around the ruins of South Shore for bloodfang forsaken hunters. Kill any that you see, for the Forsaken, and for Lord Aron. Alright. Grab this uh, flight path here. I think that's going to do it for an episode today, guys. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I've been having a lot of fun with this really creepy Forsaken quest line. <laughs> uh, with all that being said, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.